Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can do the speech bubble effect in Adobe After Effects. So the first thing you want to do is click on your Applications folder and open up Adobe After Effects CS3. Once After Effects is opened, click on Composition, New Composition, and enter in all the specifications for your composition, such as the name, resolution, frame rate, and the duration. Now there is an easier way you can do this. You can just simply import or drag the media into your browser and then drag it onto the stage and it will automatically create a composition with those specifications. You can import either a picture or a video. In my case, I'm going to be using a picture. In order to change the size, what I can do is click on a down arrow next to the clip, down arrow on transform, and change the scale. I can also just simply drag the, the clip on the stage, or the image in my case, and position it accordingly. Once I have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Layer, New, Solid. Now you can name the layer Speech Bubble Mask, and you can change the color to be black. Next thing you want to do is you want to click on the Pen Tool, or you can hit G on your keyboard. And you want to draw a Speech Bubble looking mask. Now once you're done with drawing, you want to make sure that you close the mask. That way it'll create a black speech bubble shaped figure on your, on your screen. Once you have that, make sure you have your layer selected. Click on Effect, Generate, and then Scribble. Now you can mess with the specifications such as the opacity, the angle at which it is scribbling, the color. Uh, you can also mess with how much the speech bubble is filled the width of the scribble. You can change all of those things and all of these will change depending on the resolution of your clip, how big the mask is, and things like that. But for now I'm just going to keep it fairly simple and just change the width of the scribble. Once I have that I'm going to click on the text tool and I'm going to write some text on the speech bubble. Now if you do not have the paragraph function or the character function you can go to window and then select that. The paragraph and the character are on the right hand corner of the screen. You can type in whatever you would like, and the character box will allow you to change the color. So I'm going to make the color be black because it will contrast good with the white. I can then change the size of it by just simply dragging the size up. I can also change the font. Once I have a font that I like, I want to position it so it fits fairly well in the speech bubble. I now want to click on the mask layer and the text layer, and I want to click on layer, pre-compose. Now what I'm going to do is name the pre-composition and make sure that move all attributes into a new composition is selected. Now what you can do is you can click on the down arrow next to your pre-composition, down arrow on transform, and you can then change the scale, change the position, you can change the opacity and the way it's rotating. You can also change the direction in which it is facing. You can position it so it is pointing towards someone's mouth or any other object. As you will notice once you're playing the composition, the speech bubble continues to have this scribbling effect and it gives it a really nice look. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find some great uses for this effect. For more After Effects tutorials, you can check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash vulgars, and have a great day.